name's Andrew Schultz. I'm currently living in San Francisco, California. Originally from the Midwest, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Basically my practice has been developed from starting out doing things in the public sector, doing public work. Um, started out doing a lot of graffiti and was heavily interested in comic books growing up as a kid. And also um, skateboarding, and just being in the city on the street, using things for purposes that they weren't meant for, so to speak, skateboarding or skateboarding on benches, civic plazas, all these different things. So you're using things for ulterior, ulterior purposes, um, which I think has kind of led me into doing a lot of the work that I'm doing now. The large work in this show is, the title is Up in the Air, um, kind of the culmination of developing a process that I've been slowly developing over probably the last 10 years. Um, it's a heavily mixed media piece that um, it involves painting, drawing, collage, um, util utilizing found objects, reappropriating found things, and um, integrating them into a piece. And so. A lot of what I've been developing over the years has been like sort of this, um, I guess for lack of a better way to describe it, a very loose way of working where I'm creating drawings, paintings, and I'm not necessarily in my mind always creating a masterpiece that cannot be worked on again, integrated into something else. So a lot of what ends up happening is I'll work on large pieces for a long time. I might integrate them into an installation or a show and then have them back in my studio and figure out new ways to um, appropriate them into new things. The one um, gaping hole of an issue that I've been addressing a lot in my work for probably more close to 10 years is just um, war and imperialism. And so with this work, it, there's a lot of monumental structures and things are falling apart and so on and so forth. But um, for the most part, like now more than ever, I'm talking about history um, in a lot of ways and also the way in which history is constantly repeating itself and constantly doing the same thing. Um, most of the inspiration for my drawings and paintings has come from such things as medieval German map making from like the 14th century and also Persian and Indian miniatures, um, both of which were in some ways um, like a form of like historic art. Basically a lot of what I see going on in both of these um, particular forms of art is like this, the same things that are going on today. So for me it's like very, um, it makes a lot of sense to reference these two time periods in art because it perfectly illustrates how history repeats itself. A lot of things are different now, technology, whatever, but in a lot of ways, the same wars that were being fought hundreds and hundreds of years ago are the same wars still being fought today. from Austin, Texas. Uh, we're an artist collective um, of the uh, eight of us and occasionally uh, one or two other collaborators. Um, 
We formed about six years ago, um, originally as a gallery, which uh, we continue to run, though right now is um, we're not doing shows actively. And so we started just um, to kind of keep things lively, just um, doing various collaborative drawing games uh, originally, and then they kind of became a little bit more formal drawings. And then at some point, we started trying to make larger and more ambitious works. Things that we were all interested in, but everybody was kind of taking a different take on, but as we've worked together for the past five years or so, um, we've kind of developed our own voice as a collective uh, and uh, a working method. Uh, this piece started as us um, throwing out a bunch of ideas of things we're uh, interested in and usually they're very broad kind of themes like um, we're interested in the experience of watching television or um, we're interested in uh, the similarities between uh, earth art and four-wheel culture. In this case, uh, we were really interested in some of the formal vocabulary of uh, game shows and um, <coughs> So we started talking about different takes and it evolved into this uh, large spinning wheel in which um, you know, each uh, segment, each pie piece has um, a different kind of banal take on uh, a life-changing experience, kind of in distinction to the type of uh, hype and hustle that you see on uh, you know, a similar wheel you might see on various television game shows. I just like that, that Stefan, a TV show, looks to be like a life-changing thing for someone if they hit the jackpot or they win the home or something. And this, in a similar way, is all stuff that would and does happen in your life uh, and does change your life, but it's not, like you said, the glitter of, of like that thing, which maybe doesn't have as much of an effect as it would seem if you become a millionaire. Like, those people don't always stay millionaires. And it's, um, so, in like stripping it of a color and kind of like the panache of of like an actual game show wheel just to sort of boil it down to like what the text says and um, yeah like that it's not you know not super highs and super lows it's somewhere in between. A lot of the work we make as a group is um, usually ends up being stuff we find interesting about popular culture. We tried to make a collection of things that we're just kind of about the vocabulary of like watching TV like visually like just flipping through a bunch of like images and graphics and stuff like that and just how crazy that is whenever you kind of remove some of the content and think about those things as just uh, you know a revolving pattern of uh, nonsense. The video that's more of like a patchwork example of like one of our modes of work where we have this major structure and a ton of little bitty things that can sort of be made like a person by themselves or a group of two or a group of three and that's thrown into like this larger sort of system that's already set up that is going to be the completed artwork and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger as people contribute to small pieces. I think the video is very similar to the way that the collaborative drawings are made. It's like groups of two and three. Um, we knew like basically the, the, the shell that it was going to go in and then um, everybody would talk about ideas when it, kind of, when it came down to making things. You know, some things were something that one person could just run with and other times it took all of us uh, to, to make just a very short segment or whatever. My name is Alika Cooper. Um, I just moved to LA three years ago. I did my master's in painting at uh, CCAC, Oakland, San Francisco. And I'm originally from San Diego. Started. 
Yeah, um, well the change in medium, yeah, it just it for, kind of like forces these different decisions and like kind of how abstract it is or how much information is in it. Uh, I, I made, I just kind of um, offhandedly made this quilt about a year ago and um, was just messing around with the adhesive, these different like craft adhesives and cutting it out and kind of using it as a collage and then just kind of uh, stuck in my mind and I kept making them. It's after a Versailles photograph of these um, kind of uh, French couples on the beach um, in these kind of like 30s bikinis. Um, yeah, it's a woman um, sitting on a, being carried on a man's back. <laughs>